Moonshine Harley coming out with you where weight reduction equals horsepower. This is our get rid of your fat bike and get a skinny bike episode. Well, I don't know. Fat tire guys might get all mad at exactly. us. Exactly. Like, I got a fat tire. All right, today we got some all uh, Blackstone Tech carbon fiber rims. They're amazing. They're awesome. They look great. We have this little green guy stuck in here. We're gonna show you what this is all about and why it's in the rim. We also have Harley's brand new lithium battery. Look at this, I thought this was a toy. This is the real battery. It's legit. Yeah. Good stuff here, Harley's coming out with good stuff from these other companies we're gonna go over right now. If you want your bike to perform and handle, this is an episode to watch. You have coffee this morning? I, I, I have coffee every morning. I just wake up. Boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> <laughs> he is like boom every boom. day. You guys have no idea. This is the BST rear rim. So a stock rear rim, Aaron, how much does it weigh? Stock rear rim weighs 17.5 pounds. And that's on specials. Road Glide, Street Glide Special, 17 and a half pounds. The front rim on a stock bike starts in at 17 and a half. And this BST is? Uh, seven pounds lighter. 10 and a half pounds. And we are down to 12 and a half pounds five pound reduction in this rear rim. Five pounds is huge, because this is unsprung weight. This is weight that isn't held up by your suspension. The Blackstone Tech has done a pretty incredible job with these wheels. The fitment is absolutely perfect. We've run these before, and uh, on the dyno, that five pounds of weight savings on this wheel resulted in a five horsepower and seven foot pound torque increase at the rear wheel on the dyno. So we're talking real, you know, real rear wheel numbers. Real, 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 wheel, rear wheel. Real. Say that. Oh, real, rear, real, rear wheel. Racers know this, have known this for a long time. The advantage of unsprung weight reduction. So this wheel, as it's traveling down the road, is trying to, you know, trying to stay in contact with the pavement, right? The ability of the shocks and the front forks, it allows the wheel to stay in contact with the road, making your really high performance suspension even better. Uh, there's just less weight to have to manage. Uh, the other advantage of unsprung weight is it can be calculated as far as its advantage to the overall weight of the bike is a multiple of seven. So in other words, if you reduce seven pounds using this front wheel off of your bike, the bike feels 49 pounds lighter. Rear wheel, you got five pounds reduced, so you're seeing a 35 pound reduction in weight as far as what the bike feels. Add those two together, you just saved 84 pounds, and it's better than going on a diet. There's certainly harder ways to lose 84 pounds. Well, not only that, it's, it's unsprung weight. So unsprung is anything that the suspension's not holding up. These, the road's holding up. Sprung weight is anything the suspension is holding above this, above your suspension. Unsprung weight. So the more you reduce your unsprung weight, the easier it is for your suspension to keep it on the ground. A performance suspension is always a stiffer suspension or softer. You know, that's kind of your preload setup. Performance suspension is how quickly it reacts to input that it's feeling on the road and everything. And having to move less weight back down towards the road is a better feel and your suspension isn't working as hard. Therefore, you notice how much better you can feel the bike, handle the bike, move the bike, yeah. get the bike from leaning down up off the corner into a corner and acceleration. Yeah. Now you include it with one of the best suspensions we do, which we like the Olean setup. We run Legends, we run Progressive, depends on the customer. You have good, better, best. Something BST does as well when you order these, you have to order your bearings and they have the ceramic. ceramic. These are ceramic bearings. bearings in here. These are gonna offer you less drag. They're not affected by heat as much. Also, these operate without any uh, real form of lubrication inside there. Um, so there's a lot less drag and uh, less parasitic drag for sure. This helps make more power. Anything that we can do to more, put more power to the ground is a good thing. Something we do for all of our high performance builds, whether we're putting rims or not on it, is the super cush. If you look, this guy just, I go to press it, I barely move this guy. It's not as flimsy. This guy, look at this thing. These things, you just collapse them. So what we've noticed, you build a big motor and you're just, you're letting go of the clutch and you're nailing it. We pull these things out of your rear wheel and basically this corner and this guy are powdered. You have beat it to powder. It's not even in there anymore. You have more and more slop, and it kind of feels funny. It kind of feels like your clutch is slipping, your rear end's chattering. So anytime we're doing a high performance build and we have your tire off, 
we're putting this guy in there. It's a $38.95 upgrade, and it's a huge improvement. I mean, anytime you guys are doing performance builds, this guy, whoop, new one, you install it, whoop, you're ready to rock and roll. Another thing we wanted to go over in this video is how to shave weight pretty easily, how to save weight easily. Stock Harley bagger battery. Let's weigh this bad boy. Don't let that rim fall off the table. Stock Harley battery, pop it down. 20 and a half pounds. All right, take that and you go up Harley's new lithium battery. Three pounds. What do we lose? 17 and a half pounds. Look at this battery. I thought this was a display when it came in from Harley. I'm like, what is this, guys? They're like, no, that's the battery. I was like, this is the battery? We go from this, which customers are like lugging into the counter when they have to get a new one. They drop yeah. it down, they're like, ugh, I need a battery. And we hand them this new one. They're like, what's that? Is that a toy? No, this I'll is your battery. You when I was racing late models back in California, I spent a winter cutting 17 pounds out of my race car. It's not easy to do. This is an easy way to pick up performance in your bike. No joke. If you do go with one of these, breed on them first because chargers aren't the same. Some other things have to be different. You only want to trickle charge the same once a year. This isn't being set up like we've been trained by Harley to always keep our bike on a tender. This guy maintenance once a year, a little different setup, a little different charging. It does have a test guy around the top, so you can test to see what it needs. Um, real cool setup. Trying to save weight, real easy way to do it. All right, guys, if you're looking to have something built but don't have all the cheddar now, we got it solved. Moonshine Harley-Davidson has in-house financing from anything from exhaust upgrades to full motor builds, these whole things. So it's in-house financing, Moonshine Harley-Davidson, multiple options available. We do one-year terms, two-year terms, three-year terms, or 60 days, same as cash, interest waived. So if you're interested, please contact us. Call the number below if you're interested in the financing. We need some basic info, it takes a couple minutes, and we'll see if we can get you all set up. Thank you.